If you are watching this video right now and you're looking for the best pure point maker build, boy, you done clicked the right video. Cause I spent some time in the builder and I think I found, which I think is probably one of the best pure point maker builds in NBA 2K25, one of the best 6-6 pure point maker builds in NBA 2K25. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this banger, young boys. Let's get it. Yo, what is up, YouTube? Make I know who it is. It's your boy Just Plays Plays. You feel me? Back here with another straight banger for y'all boys. And if y'all new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a banger from your boy and be a part of the Blaze Geek. You feel me? Now, you, I know you guys see what's going on in the title, man. We bringing out the official 6 6 Pure Playmaker build. I know. It took some time to try and figure out this build, and I apologize for some people who already made their first builds of the game, but you can save this for your rebirth, all right? So it's not the end of the world. This Playmaker build will still be here, but I took some time in the my builder to try to figure this out for you guys, because I know a lot of you guys were asking me on how did you make an actual Playmaker build, or how do you do it, did you make it? So today's the video, I'm about to bring it to y'all boys, man. Obviously, we can never get the pure Playmaker name again. It's Floor General. So, hey, bro, it is what it is at this point, you feel me? So, I'm getting ready to show you guys what I think is the best pure playmaker build in NBA 2K25. So, once you guys get to this screen, obviously, here we are in the My Player Builder. Hopefully, you guys are following along with me. You guys cannot miss a single beat of this video. Put your hand, put your jersey number, whatever it is, your personal preference, as all the time. Um, so, right here, once we get to this screen, Custom template position you want to put point guard for the height you want to do 6-6 six, six. of course the OG playmaker is 6-6 six, six. like come on my boy now for the weight we're gonna do lowest weight there's not really much of a big difference if we go higher weight so we're just gonna put it to the lowest so we can also be faster and for the wingspan we're gonna max it out all the way now Putting a minimum wingspan on this build is pointless. Just max it out. It's better defense. I promise you guys, there's no point of putting lower wingspan because you cannot get a higher three-pointer with a pure playmaker-like build. You feel me? So copy all these stats down how I have it right here on the screen. And once you guys get to the official attributes, this is where the fun begins, my boy. I'm going to need you guys to pay attention closely. So let's start with the finishing. What we're going to do, we're going to put our driving dunk up to an 80 driving dunk this gets you a lot of dunk animations trust me my main build my 6-4 has an 80 driving dunk and i be slamming you feel me so you're gonna put your driving dunk to an 80 you want to put your driving layup to a 77 that's all we're gonna do for finishing now for the shooting what we're gonna do we have to put our three-pointer to a 76 now a lot of you guys are probably thinking we cannot do anything with a 76 three-pointer this build is already trash what is this build all right i'm telling you guys right now cap breakers are in the game you can max out this build's potential to an 80 plus three pointer i promise you it is low-key worth it in the long run and i'll explain more later now let's get into the playmaking you want to put your ball handle to a 92 you want to put your speed with ball to an 86 so you get that gold lightning launch which is really really good especially for taller builds and for your pass accuracy you want to put it to a 91 which also gets you that silver bailout which i mean i'm not gonna lie that bailout is low-key kind of clutch i'm just letting y'all know that right now and i have it on bronze i can only imagine on silver so for the defense what we're gonna do we're gonna put our perimeter to a 92 so we can get that gold challenger which is a really good badge if you don't have perimeter on your build this year you are low-key cooked playing defense and i promise you guys right now it does not matter if it says two-way in it you need perimeter this year bro i'm trying to tell you guys right now you need perimeter okay so do not argue with me this isn't it like bro you need it all right just listen so for the steal you want to put it to an 85 for your block you want to put it to a 78 and for your interior defense want to put 60 so we can get that bronze paint patrol and also that 78 block will get us the high flying denier i think that's what the badge is called on silver and as we go to the fitness physicals what we're going to do we're going to keep our speed or put it up to an 82 we're going to put our agility up to an 80 and i'm not gonna lie to you that agility is definitely important for a build like this especially being tall so we're definitely going to need that for the strength we're going to put it to a 60 so we get that physical finisher and strong handle on bronze and for our vertical we're going to put this to a 74 so we get that silver high flying denier and as you guys can see once you guys put all these attributes on your build we have a lot and I mean a lot of room to work with because we are still a 98 overall. So at this point, it's kind of like, what can you do? You can put your speed to an 85 and then work with something like that. I could recommend that to you. But if you want to keep it at an 82, I promise you guys that lower weight is fine. Like you're going to be super fast with the low weight that you have. So 82 isn't bad. You can put your perimeter to a 94 if you want to. Like you can really balance it out at any point. 
with these leftover attributes that you have these are you just have to make sure you have the base attributes that i have on already and you can literally throw on whatever you want you can even put your pass accuracy to a 92 to get hall of fame dimer for them teammates that be selling your bag i know y'all got some teammates right now especially since 25 first came out i know y'all got teammates that have been selling y'all breach bro i'm already knowing bro so if you want to put that hall of fame dimer go ahead bro as long as you got the base stats like i said before you can throw this on anything in your personal preference so for what i did i put my defensive rebound to a 60 which gives me bronze rebound chaser and you guys might think you won't snag with a 60 rebound that 74 vertical is gonna help you i promise you right now and i put the rest of my free throw and i put the rest of my offensive rebound so as you guys see right here the build is completely done and i'm low-key still trying to figure out what i can do but it looks like nothing so we're just gonna put everything how it is officially this right here is my official pure playmaker build i'm telling you guys if i find out a better one than this later on i will let you guys know but for right now this build is low-key a demon this build is a demon and as you see obviously like i said before you will have to get a two-way name you cannot get just the pure name you're going to be super super trash on defense trust me you want to have the two-way and you like i'm telling you guys you will not get rid of the two-way name you have to have your defense that's low this year to even get type of floor general name so this is the build right here hopefully hopefully you guys do like this build if you guys want to make this let me know in the comments down below what you think and i'm about to make this build for myself and my rebirth as well because i'm not gonna lie it's low-key tough but just place plays and i'm out deuces